welcome to this short video on a new solution for detailed mine planning that addresses the challenges of translating strategic plans into operational plans. The fully redesigned tempo integrates closely with MindMax Scheduler so you can quickly and painlessly assess whether your strategic plan works at the detailed level. Let me show you how easy it is to do this. First, we start at the MindMax Scheduler Reports menu to review our optimized strategic schedule. Our example is a simple copper mine with a mill, leach pad, and four stockpiles. Here, we can see mill and leach material movements, including the copper distribution, and that low and medium grade material has been stockpiled. The schedule is complete and ready for proving up its practicality at the detailed level with Tempo. To do this, we click on the integration menu so we can prepare our schedule for export to Tempo. On this screen, we've already entered all the necessary details to make the integration work. In the attributes section, we mapped a copper attribute and attributes for cycle times to ensure we use the same cycle times in our detailed schedule and tempo. In the pit hierarchy section, we set up pit one and six stages to reflect the correct hierarchy. In the destinations tab, we added and mapped mill and leach processing destinations. We use the default start and end periods to generate a three year detailed plan in monthly increments. Finally, we check the Open Tempo After Export checkbox so that we will continue on in tempo without interruption. So now let's press the Export button to see the Scheduler Tempo integration in action. Within seconds, the first three years of our schedule are imported into Tempo where we feel interface and workflow style of MindMax Scheduler. Thanks to the effortless Scheduler Tempo integration, most of the details in the model have been brought across, so we don't need to do a lot of manual setup work. One thing we need to set up is trucking. At the top of the trucking screen, we define the truck fleet name and its capacity. At the bottom of the screen, we leave reclaim cycle time set to zero, because in this example, our stockpiles are next to the mill and we use front end loaders for reclaiming material. In the import menu, under the Cycle Times tab, we map our destinations to the Cycle Times imported from MindMax Scheduler. Then we click Next to re-import the configuration. For our example, we use the default vertical interbench precedences with the minimum mining width of 60 and horizontal intrabench radial precedences with the bearing of 135. We click Next to go to the Material Flow menu. This screen is where we define which material goes to which destination and assign trucking to transfer paths. For our example, this has already been set up and so after confirming the details, we click Next to go to the next menu. In the Constraints menu, we define the processing and haulage constraints for our detailed schedule. In the Processing tab, we enter a daily processing rate of 40,000 tons for both mill and leach destinations and then we go to the trucking tab to define that we have 15 trucks available. Then we click next, which takes us to financials. Here we can enter revenues, mining, and processing costs that will be used for finding the optimal schedule. In the revenue section, we click the plus button and put in $5,000 per ton for copper. Then we enter $2 per ton as a mining cost, $12 per ton as a mill processing cost, and $5 per ton as a leach processing cost. The next screen is the recovery menu where we define attribute recoveries for processing destinations. They will be used for scheduling along with financial information. We put in 92% for mill and 60% for leach. In the schedule menu, we can review our setup and then click next to start scheduling. For this data set, we use the default scheduling option which uses the fast, modern BZ algorithm. In just a few seconds, our schedule displays in reports, where we can assess how the schedule works at the detailed level. Tempo reports have a similar look and feel to MindMax scheduler reports. You can quickly navigate through predefined report dashboards or individual reports to view your schedule and to verify that your constraints have been met. Tempo's new material flow report 
is an easy way to visually validate material transfers between individual locations. Thank you for watching this short video on developing detailed practical plans from your strategic plan. For more information on how MindMax Scheduler and Tempo can be used together to give you the best value practical mind plan, contact us.